Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Capricorn July 18, 2022. Today's transits are powerful for connecting with your intuition. A Venus-Uranus alignment enlivens your interactions. You can feel happily detached from a matter that once weighed you down. Friendships can bring surprises today, or you could see a friend in a new light. It's an excellent time for exploration socially or with new ideas, dreams, and plans. With Uranus strong as it is today, it's wise to check in with yourself that you're making choices, not merely reacting. Curveballs thrown at you tend to nudge you in new directions. Those areas of your life that can do with an update are sticking out, and breaking the routine even just a little can be refreshing. You're making a scene, and your admirers are swarming. In other words, if you're going out of your way to impress a romantic suitor, don't bother. In addition to the electrifying current of Venus conjunct Uranus, let alone, the sensuality of Taurus making itself known via your socially conscious 11th house of associations, community, and individual freedom. More importantly, when considering Mercury's trying to Pluto in your relationship sector, chances are there's a significant conversation perhaps even taboo-like, taking place in the process. And with the Moon in Aquarius, one thing's for sure, there's no taming your emotions and smoldering passions. What could change? As Venus conjuncts Uranus in Taurus today, you might feel differently about your professional network, friendships, and aspirations. Wild Child Uranus is encouraging Venus to step out of its comfort zone, implying that you may entertain unlikely networking opportunities or ideas. You could begin working more closely with a unique group or association that encourages innovation. New, exciting dreams of art, money, beauty, and more could inspire you to take your professional aspirations in a new direction. Embrace any changes that could come your way since they could lead to something revolutionary. A friendly aspect to the moon over recent days has given Venus and Jupiter, the planets of money and luck a boost in support as they move through your financial sector. Until Mars returns next week to take a more proactive approach to money matters, this is helping to fuel your financial confidence and a sense of what's possible. Your energy and drive have no bounds. If you had it your way, you would do everything and at the same time. Even though your interests are varied, you should concentrate on what's relevant. Involve your friends and relations in particular. You will spend wonderful moments together, and have great memories of them. Honesty is most definitely the best policy right now. Try to make sure you open up to everyone who deserves or needs it, and they will almost certainly reciprocate. You're optimistic, willing to take risks. Self-reliance and the charm you possess gives you great confidence, if you suffer the indignity of being turned down by a potential date, this has little effect on the way you feel. There are people out there who appreciate what you offer and willing to share their love with you. The aspect of the day gives you the power to express yourself emotionally with the people you care about. Rather than wondering whether your emotions will be accepted or validated, express yourself with abandon and really let your friend know how you are feeling. It never turns out as bad as your fears tell you it will. Get your blood flowing with some aerobic exercise and try to understand what you are feeling yourself before you try to communicate it to someone else. Have courage. Welcome to the wonderful energy of a vibration. The essence from this number can see you far more competitive than usual. Further, you may notice that you are particularly ambitious today. Use this to the fullest to make some real headway in your career. You're more likely to want to get out and deal with others than usual, making it an opportune time for meetings and sales. Make some progress. You'll feel great at the end of the day with all that you accomplish. That Venus last full day in your career sector falls over the weekend doesn't necessarily mean keeping your work hat on. Venus focus is more on the what than the when, where and how, as she works to leave your professional desires and expectations updated. Knowing that Mars will return next month for what is normally a six-week visit but instead won't leave until March 2023, gives you plenty of time to turn desires into reality. In the meantime, 
The sun and moon are back in harmony after clashing as a full moon, working together to create a good weekend for friendship and relationship building. The moon's first visit to your relationship sector since Neptune's retrograde turn here is also the last while the asteroid Juno, the queen of commitment and especially commitment to your relationships is in direct motion. As well as a chance to become more emotionally engaged and connected, this is helping you to connect the past, present and future. Our eyes in the sky. Investing money today can reap big returns and dividends. It's also a great day to connect with those you haven't spoken to in quite some time. If you're single, Pay attention to the people you meet or engage with today. They could play an important role in your future. Embrace the positivity and good vibes. Today is a pleasant day, which is a nice change from all the cosmic chaos of last week. There's some powerful energy fueling your ambition and driving you to get a lot done today, but power struggles are unavoidable during the difficult Moon, Mars, and Pluto Cardinal T-square. If you can feel the tension building between you and someone else who also wants the leadership role you're intent on playing, it's going to come to a head at some point. And when it all blows up in your face, it's not going to be pretty. You might want to have an alternate plan ready in case your authority is successfully challenged. After a brief void of course period, the moon enters playful Leo, helping diffuse some of the more difficult cosmic energy from earlier. Luckily, you should be able to forget about some of the day's tenser moments as you play with your kids or go out dancing with friends. Being the center of attention is your main goal now, and whether it's adoring affection from a lover or all eyes on you on the dance floor, you're happy to soak up the happiness that being in the spotlight offers you now. Regardless, we will confront psychological material at this time and we are offered protection to this end so we might understand our inner workings and unconscious motivations without getting overwhelmed. Following this connection, the moon falls into a void lasting into the early evening. Use this time for reflection. We might think we are living in the here and now, but how much of our personality and identity hinges on nostalgia? Are our thoughts of what it means to be productive, tech-savvy, or eco-conscious actually rather inefficient and outdated? Under this influence we believe that it is our purpose, our mission, to help others modernize their lifestyles by encouraging them to think outside the box. There is freedom in liberating ourselves from old conditioning, and thankfully, others see our message as revolutionary and exciting, rather than disruptive. In the morning, the Cancer Moon trines Neptune in Pisces, stimulating our creative impulses. Ultimately, we get more from rest than from exertion now. When we allow ourselves to relax, we gain the ability to tune into serendipity and thereby develop greater trust in our intuition. We can use this influence to practice divination techniques, such as reading tea leaves, tarot, or scrying. Looking to our astrological charts can also be revelatory, not because we are seeking answers, but because we are open to receiving insights from the universe. Late in the morning, the moon squares off with Mars and Aries, provoking tension. Our emotional needs and desires conflict at this time, creating an internal battle of wills. We risk taking our frustrations out on anyone who happens to get in our way. Obviously, this is a poor use of our energy, which can be much better applied to self-examination. Otherwise, we can get our angst out through physical activity, but should avoid competitive sports as we could accidentally injure ourselves or another when we are simply attempting to face a challenge courageously.